Hello everyone, my name is Barrick, and this is a small demonstration of my unsupervised model-based reinforcement learning system called IRIS. In this video, IRIS learns how to complete six levels of a grid world puzzle game from a clean slate with no training. Its only inputs are the low resolution pixel data from the game world that you see on the right side of the screen, and its only outputs are up, down, left, right, and wait. Just from observing the changes in the pixel data, it's able to learn how the game works. Using these observations, it's able to generate an internal simulation of the game world, similar to our imagination. That simulation is what you're seeing on the right side of the screen. It uses the simulation to make predictions about what's going to happen in the game. It does this by modeling sequences of actions and what effects it expects those actions to have. In the beginning, this world simulation is very inaccurate, and a lot of the predictions that it makes turn out to be wrong. But every time that it's wrong, it uses these new observations to refine its world simulator so that it can make a more accurate prediction next time. It also uses its observations to generate its own goals. For example, it observed that if it gave the output command right, the blue square would move one space to the right as long as that space was empty. So it decided to see what would happen if that space wasn't empty. It gave itself the goal of putting the blue square next to another colored square and then moving to the right and observing the result. Once it has a goal, it uses its world simulator to model the results of each of its actions on the current environment. It then critiques each model and determines which one brings it closer to its goal. It uses the closest model to again model each of its actions and determine which one of those models brings it even closer to its goal. It repeats this process until one of the models matches the goal. Then all it has to do is follow the sequence of actions that it modeled in its world simulator. The result was that it learned how to collect batteries. It then uses this new information to come up with its next goal. And eventually, with enough experimentation, it figures out how to complete each level. This level introduces a hazard, fire, that restarts the level whenever it's touched. There are some paths where the one-way arrows create traps and Iris learns to either avoid these paths, or if it finds itself trapped, to intentionally walk into the fire and restart the level. In this last level, Iris must collect the key to unlock the door to gain access to the battery. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit iris-ai.com.